Aloha everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name is Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. Also be sure and subscribe to my second YouTube channel called Selfless. I just came out with a brand new video talking about how I was a global humanitarian and why I regret it. And delving into that topic and helping you guys make a positive difference in the world from the knowledge that I shared. So be sure and subscribe below. Today I get to talk about something I could talk about all day long, Korean skincare. It's so funny that I absolutely love Korean skincare now because when I first started my channel, I was just not about Korean skincare. I really thought Korean skincare was just like Tony Molly and Glow Recipe and I was like, I don't get the hype. I don't know why people are obsessed Obsessed, I'm over it until the world of Korean skincare reached its addictive arms out and sucked me into the black hole That is their incredible skincare and now I can't go back and I just love it The main way that I choose what content to create is all based on your request And I've seen one request over the past six months over and over again Something that really captured my attention the brand some by me Which honestly surprises me because when it comes to the world of Korean skincare at least in the Western world a lot of individual brands besides like cause rx aren't like super super well known but a lot of you you guys have requested some by me which is great because it means the Korean skincare world is really extending its arms into the Western world which is what we desperately need if you don't know why I love Korean skincare or you're not familiar with my channel I am extremely picky when it comes to skincare ingredient lists I want the best of the best bitch I ain't settling typically when it comes to a lot of brands here I'll look at ingredient lists and I'll be like mm, they're just okay but the first time I came across real Korean skincare and I was reading through those ingredient lists mama I was blown the fuck away so freaking impressed the high quality ingredients ingredients, the concentrations, the formulas, the sunscreens, just everything blew my mind. After seeing your guys' requests, I was able to try out a few of the products and then the company Stylevana approached me for a sponsorship, which is why I'm excited to say that this video is sponsored by Stylevana. If you're not familiar with Stylevana, I've actually worked with them multiple times in the past. Stylevana is basically like an online portal for all Korean skincare. And when I say Korean skincare, I mean skincare that typically can only be found in Korea. But Stylevana is a company that takes product from Korea and delivers them to to you in the USA. It's so nice because it makes Korean skincare accessible to us where otherwise we wouldn't be able to get access to it unless we traveled to Korea. I really like working with companies like Stylevana that offer a huge selection of products because I'm able to choose which products align with my personal philosophy on skincare, which allows me to be completely transparent and honest with you guys about my experience. I've shopped from Stylevana in the past. I really like their product selection and one of the reasons I like them the most is because their sales are insane. Sometimes the products will literally be half the price of what I find on other websites for the same exact products. And they have these sales pretty typically, which is why I personally like shopping from Stylevana. And when they reached out to me for a sponsorship, I was like, let's do some by me. It's time. They feature some of my favorite Korean skincare brands like iUnique and Purito, which I talk about all the time on my channel, two of my top favorites. And they have a wide selection from each of them, as well as other skincare brands that are really popular in Korea. And speaking of sales, Stylevana is also offering a discount code. It's INF10 Hiram. If you use it, you'll save 15% off of brands like Purito, iUnique, and Some By Me, and 10% off of every other brand on the website. And I just went on their website and the Some By Me products are already 30% off, so you can get an additional 10% off, which is a crazy good deal because you can literally get the moisturizer for $10. I'm actually gonna be purchasing it right after this video because I wanna stock up. So if you do feel like shopping some Korean skincare, feel free to use that discount code if you guys would like. So in this video, I'm going to be reviewing some of the products from Some By Me. I was able to select my three favorite ones, try them out for at least three weeks, break them down ingredient, ingredient, and I have all of my thoughts right here to share with you guys and I'm so excited to get into it. So let's get into it. So the products from Sun By Me that I'm going to specifically be focusing on is their AHA, BHA, PHA line. The entire AHA, BHA, and PHA line focuses on a 30 day testing period to clear skin. Now I'll admit these products I didn't use for a full 30 days. I was able to get a good feel with them after using them for two to three weeks. But I definitely say that they're targeted towards acne prone, oily skin, which I love to hear because although I am not extremely acne prone, when I started using these products, bitch, I had a breakout all over my forehead. I was using too many products at once my skin freaked out it's an issue I keep running into over and over again <laughs> I absolutely love it and I thought it was the perfect time to start using this line because I was like okay bitch let's see if this line can really clear up my acne within 30 days if you aren't familiar with what AHA BHA or PHA are they are all different 
types of exfoliating acids. And if you want to learn more about what each of them mean and what they do, go to my Skincare 101 series where I talk about how to exfoliate. I talk about each of those ingredients, break them down, and label which one is best for your skin type. I'll have it linked in the description box below. As for all my brand reviews, I'm going to be starting from my least favorite to my favorite, starting with the Miracle Acne Clean Foam Cleanser. This is a gentle foaming cleanser that's primarily formulated with Centella Asiatica, one of my favorite ingredients in the world for soothing redness, sensitivity, and irritation, as well as just hydrating the face, and tea tree leaf water, where as opposed to tea tree extract and tea tree oil. Now for this entire line, tea tree is one of the primary ingredients that they advertise on their packaging. And if you know my channel, I usually talk about how I don't like tea tree, but it depends on the circumstance. I like tea tree when it's formulated at a lower concentration in products. The only time I kind of have a problem with it is when it comes to DIY skincare, because when you're making your own skincare, you aren't able to really test the percentages of the active like tea tree to see if it's going to be too sensitizing to your skin or just enough. And I checked the percentages of tea tree for all of these products and found that they were way below the safety mark for the skin, which is why I'm totally comfortable with it and think it'll be really beneficial in helping with the acne and oiliness of your skin. As for ingredients I like, the second ingredient is glycerin and the third ingredient is Centella Asiatica. I love to see that in a cleanser because right away I know that this cleanser is going to be very hydrating, great at soothing redness and sensitivity. It also has three different types of fatty acid surfactants. Now surfactants are essentially cleansing agents that help to kind of like foam up on the skin, really cleanse your skin, but fatty acids are really going to help to hydrate and nourish your skin. Sometimes when it comes to cleansers for oily skin or foaming cleansers, they can a lot of times be overly stripping to the skin because people want to really feel like everything in their skin is taken out. But when you're suffering from acne, that's the last thing you want to do. You want to make sure that your skin it's hydrated but still really well cleaned and the surfactants in this cleanser do a good job of that. In addition it also has salicylic acid in the product which I really like because I feel like salicylic acid can be really beneficial but also non-irritating in a wash off form as opposed to a leave-on form so it's an option out there for anyone who does have a little bit of a sensitivity to salicylic acid. The only thing I don't really like about this cleanser is that it is formulated with peppermint oil but it's not a huge issue to me because it is a wash off treatment and I don't see any other problematic ingredients than that. You guys know I do not like fragrance and I don't like essential oils but when a product has one or or two essential oils and they're at low concentrations, I personally don't have a problem with it because there's an extremely low risk of sensitivity unless you have crazy sensitive skin. As for my experience, I liked it. It was very gentle, like very, very gentle. I think good for anyone who does have sensitive but acne prone skin. It's also extremely foamy, which I like, but it wasn't stripping, which sometimes is hard to find when it comes to cleansers that are this foamy, but I never once felt like my skin was dry afterwards. I think it's great for people who do have active acne and a disrupted moisture, barrier. So a lot of times when there's acne sores on the face, you'll be losing water through your skin. And it's important to use products that are really hydrating to make sure that you're not overly stripping your skin and increasing that water loss, which only further irritates the acne and keeps it on your skin longer. And out of these three products, this has the highest concentration of salicylic acid, which I really like to see because salicylic acid is going to be great for going deep into the pores and pushing out all the dirt. Is it my favorite cleanser in the world? No, I'm definitely picky when it comes to cleansers. And I do like ones that have a little bit of a deeper clean, but I still think it's a good one. Next up is the AHA. BHA, BHA, PHA Miracle Toner. This one is really popular. It was actually the first product that I started trying by them and the one that I typically see on social media the most. Now you may be thinking, how are you shit on toners all the time? Why are you using a toner? It all depends on the type of toner. When it comes to standard hydrating toners, I think that's excessive because I'm like, just get a better moisturizer. But when it comes to active toners, I really like them because you can get your active ingredients in a really lightweight formula, which makes it optimal for people who have more oily skin. As for ingredients, the fourth ingredient is glycerin. The fifth ingredient is niacinamide. Yay! We love niacinamide. It's great for oily skin, will reduce sebum and excess oil. It'll also brighten any dark spots on the face and is good for reducing sensitivity and irritation. One of those star ingredients for anyone who has sensitive skin. And it also has 1% tea tree extract, which is a higher concentration than the cleanser because it's an extract versus tea tree leaf water, which means you're going to be getting more of those benefits while still under the safe percentage zone. It also has papaya extract, which is a form of enzymatic exfoliation. So there's AHAs, there's BHAs, there are PHAs, but there's also enzyme exfoliation, which tends to be the most gentle form of exfoliation. And I really like that they use papaya extract in addition to the other ingredients because you're going to be getting gentle exfoliation while not over exfoliating your face, as well as salicylic acid and the lactobionic acid, which is the PHA that you see on the bottle. And I actually use this one at night because usually during the day, I just like to use a moisturizer and that's it. But at night I can go in with the extra layer so that I don't sweat it out during the day. It's not sticky at all, which I like because sometimes toners can be really sticky and I'm just not a fan of that. It didn't deliver dramatic results like I woke up in the morning and I'm like oh I'm a goddess 
But I noticed it was really good at gently exfoliating during the night, which I actually prefer to a really dramatic result because sometimes dramatic results when it comes to exfoliating products can risk sensitivity and over exfoliation in the face. Ideally, exfoliation should be a gentle, regular process. The only thing I don't like about this as well is that it is formulated with peppermint oil, but that's the only irritating ingredient that I see and it's at a lower concentration, so I'm okay with it. I think this product is good for someone who has sensitive skin or someone who wants to get some exfoliation during the daytime in addition to their moisturizer, but doesn't want to have something really heavy, I think this would be ideal for you. And then moving on to the final product, which is my absolute favorite. I have been waiting to talk to you guys about this one. It's the AHA BHA PHA Miracle Cream. Now this one took me by surprise because I fully expected to like this one the least, but girl, when I looked at the ingredient list, I saw that this has 70% Centella Asiatica extract. Honestly, when I heard that, I was like, who needs a man? I found the love of my life. In addition, the fifth ingredient is niacinamide. It has 1% tea tree oil, a ton of fruit and vegetable antioxidant ingredients that are really encouraging for me to see, green tea extract, sodium hyaluronate, salicylic acid, lactobionic acid, and an ingredient I don't see very often, oleanolic acid, which is a strong antioxidant and skin soothing agent. This is an example of a product that has a long ingredient list, but when you look through it, you're just like, oh my gosh, yes, 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 this is what I want to see. The only ingredients I don't like is that it does have lavender extract, which isn't as strong as an essential oil, but it still is a fragrant component, and a citrus essential oil at the very bottom of the ingredient ingredient list. But in comparison to the incredible ingredients that has like 70% Centella Asiatica in a moisturizer, here in the US you're literally lucky to get 1% Centella, let alone 70%. It's crazy. But I try to be the person that looks at an ingredient list and balances the good ingredients with the bad ingredients and honestly with the good one that this has, it heavily overweighs the two potentially irritating components that this has. And when I smell the product, I primarily smell tea tree. I don't smell citrus essential oil. So that's an encouraging sign to me. As for my experience, oh my god. The results of this moisturizer blew me away. This is a product that really transformed my skin and got rid of all the pimples on my face in about a week's time. I've actually been using this for three weeks because I've enjoyed my experience so much. I noticed the product that made me go, oh, these are the miracle results that you guys are talking about. It's extremely lightweight, which makes it really ideal for people who have more oily skin, but it doesn't leave your skin shiny at all, which I really like. It's definitely moisturizing, but it doesn't feel heavy on the skin. And I also love how affordable it is because like I told you guys with a 30% off and with the additional 10% off of my code, you can literally get this moisturizer for $10, which makes it such a good price point for the incredible ingredient list that it has. I honestly was really impressed by this product, which is why I'm going to be buying more of them with the style of on the sale that's going on because I'm like, I don't want to run out of this. Now that I've gone through the products and the ingredient list, what are my thoughts on the brand overall? Now I will say I was very picky when it came to what ingredients I wanted to review for this video because looking at the other products that Sun By Me has, some of the products do have a high concentration of essential oils, which is pretty common in some Korean skincare brands. And because I don't like essential oils, I didn't want to review those products. But each of these ones, I'm glad I chose them. And I'm glad that Sun By Me does offer product selections without a high concentration of essential oils or fragrance. And it's so encouraging to see a line that's formulated for people with acne prone, oily skin that doesn't have a crazy high concentration of alcohol. I also like this line because while they're definitely active formulas, they're not over the top. Sometimes I see brands get really carried away in their active ingredients that they have in their moisturizers or serums. Like I've seen some moisturizers like 12% glycolic acid for daily use. And I'm like, whoa, that's a little bit too much. That can really overly treat and over exfoliate the skin. These formulas do a good job of delivering the active ingredients, but at relatively low concentrations so that you're safe to use them every day. Now I'm the type of person who doesn't usually recommend exfoliating every day, but I I have done it in times where my skin is really struggling, like when I had severe wrinkles on my face and I had to get rid of them, or when my skin is breaking out, because I feel like I need that consistent gentle exfoliation every day to take care of it. And from using these products, specifically that moisturizer, I definitely saw a positive difference in my skin without ever once feeling sensitivity or irritation. Now that being said, because these are active formulas, I of course, Always, always, always recommend using a sunscreen if you are going to use any of these products because they do have exfoliating acids. And anytime you use exfoliating acids, whether it's during the night or during the day, you have to follow up with a sunscreen if you don't want your skin to be damaged. But as long as you're doing that, I think these products are great for daily use. And to top it all off, the price point is insane. That's another reason why I love Korean skincare so much because when you find high quality formulas here in the US, sometimes those products will literally be like 80 to $100 each, which, you know, I'm okay paying for, but if I can 
pay less for them, I would rather do that. And that's where I think Sun By Me really shines through. So if you are going to try products from the brand, I highly recommend trying these three. Or on Stylevana, they also have mini sets that are really affordable, like $17, $18, with four different minis, including like the serum and the cleansing bar. So if you're okay with essential oils, you can have that, or you can give those to a friend. There's options for you if you don't want to buy full size. And yeah, I'm so excited I was able to talk about this. I'm actually really excited to include this moisturizer in future videos because my experience with it was so good, but I'm really grateful I was able to try these out and I want to hear your guys' opinions. Do you like these products? Have you tried them before? What do you think? Do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments section down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much to Salvana for sponsoring this video and thank you guys for always being so supportive so that I can be really piggy with my sponsorships and only work with brands that I really like. Don't forget to subscribe to my second YouTube channel called Selfless and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week and I'll see you guys in the next video.